Hey, what's up guys? I'm Derek. This channel is all for kicks where we discover streetwear, sneakers, and art collectibles. In today's video, we'll be unboxing and reviewing the Yeezy 350 V2 MX Oat. I'll be talking about the details on the sneakers, colorway and style. I'll be talking about the sizing and resale predictions. Is it worth it? I will tell you all later in this video. By the way, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers. We're almost close to reaching this goal. I hope to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And with the help of you guys, hopefully I will reach that. Previously, I did a live cup video of the Yeezy 350 V2 MX Oat. It was an easy cup overall. I secured the pair on Adidas website. Then I moved to Yeezy Supply. As you know, this website is so hard to get a win. But surprisingly, Yeezy Supply gave me a chance. I will say it again, Yeezy Supply gave me a chance to get it. It's been a long time, but I didn't cop. I got a pair already from Adidas and I only need one pair. Either I got lucky in Yeezy Supply or stock X are high for the MX Oat or the demand is low for the sneakers. Let's discuss more on this later in this video. If you want to see the live cup experience of the EC350 MX Oat, I will add the link in the description box below. Now let's go back to this EC350 V2 MX Oat. As usual, we have the simple brown iconic EC sneaker box. Inside this box, we see the sneakers without extra laces. I got a size 11, a personal pair. By the way, later I will show you an on fit for these sneakers, so stay tuned. Basically, we see the Yeezy 350 V2 usual features. Good thing they put back the pull tab. It's one of my favorite features in this Yeezy 350 V2s. The pull tab makes the look of the 350 V2 complete. They didn't add the Infinity laces this time. Personally, I like the standard laces. Now let's move to the colorway. The first time I saw this colorway before the release, I've been eyeing and waiting for this colorway. This unique marbling pattern on the sneakers is fire and it's made of three distinct muted colors. We have the navy, the orange, and the gold with a cream or beige base color on the upper. This cream or beige colorway can be seen all over the sneakers. We can see it at the sock liner, the laces, the pull tab, and inner sole. For the iconic rib midsole, I really like the vintage yellow tone. It's a semi-transparent material. You can even see through the bust in the midsole. And for the outer sole, it's a bit darker than the midsole. You can see the bust foam at the outer sole. This CC Boost 350 V2 MX Oat is the very first MX or mix variation of the silhouette to be released. Like many 350 V2s, a side mono filament side strip complements the colorway. Now let's talk about the sizing for the Yeezy 350 V2 MX Oat. These are true to size. I'm a size 11 with wide feet. My size in Jordan 1 is US 11 as well. The upper prime knit is flexible so your feet will adjust to it. To be honest, I can use 10.5 US but it will be tight on the sides. Overall, I'm very happy with this Yeezy 350 V2 MX Oat. Is it worth to resell? Short and quick answer is, if you're planning to resell these sneakers, you will get a small profit. The time and effort is not worth it if you're reselling only one pair. Like I said, there will be small profit for this Yeezy 350 V2 MX Oat. Will the resell price go up in the future? Right now, there's no sign that it will go up. The resale prices have settled down already. The Yeezy 350 V2's value went down because of restocks, their recent colorway releases are not exciting at all, and the market is saturated with 350 V2's. I think the Yeezy 350 V2 MX Oat has a low demand, hence the supply is a lot. Yeezy 350 V2 hype value is not up there anymore, except for the OG releases. However, this is good news for the people who want to purchase their first Yeezy 350 V2s or people who are still on the Yeezy 350 V2 bandwagon. I personally still on the Yeezy 350 V2 bandwagon but in select colorways. This means I can easily purchase it. By the way, I will show the on-fit video on the sneakers in a bit so stay tuned. 
If you want to purchase a pair of MX Oat, my advice is to buy it from your local resellers. They can give you a better resale price rather than buying in StockX or eBay because of the additional cost. The ongoing resale price for the MX Oat is around 244 to 270 US dollars excluding the tax and shipping. Here are my final thoughts on the Yeezy 350 V2 MX Oat. My only decision on buying this Yeezy 350 V2 is the colorway. I can mix and match this with my attire with beige, blue, orange, and yellow. It's a great sneaker for the summer as well. These sneakers have a simple design and the muted tone colors is amazing. For me, this is worth it for personal use. I've been eyeing and waiting for this colorway. There's been a lot of Yeezy 350 V2 colorways, but this MX Oat colorway is unique and this is the first colorway for the MX model. I recommend getting the CC350 V2 MX. Like I said, buy what you like and enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as well. Before we end this video, I just want to share my favorite quote. For every negative, there's a positive. That's it guys, stay alive and keep kicking. I'm Derek, see you in the next video, I'm out.